Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah As you guys are aware, the fight of Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov is now upon us with <coughs> That's how excited I am Smile to Jannah <laughs> So, we only have literally one day in the UK, it's gonna be Sunday and I'm sure you're aware more than me that the official weigh-in was today. And my Allah, what drama ensued. MashaAllah, this was absolutely fantastic. Khabib Narmagomedov came out, humble MashaAllah, gone to the scales, did his weigh-in and you could only see him do one thing mashallah which implied he is nothing all is Allah all is God. Now on a world stage a day before one of the biggest fights he is saying this Khabib definitely gets my respect. And in the interview with Joe Rogan he says more alhamdulillah than I've seen any Muslim athlete say. Hey first of all I want to say alhamdulillah God give me everything Alhamdulillah, I know you got this, they don't like this, Alhamdulillah. If there was a Muslim version of the Guinness Book of Records, something like the Zamzam Book of Records, mate Habib would be on top with the most Alhamdulillahs said on a non-Muslim stage mate. Alhamdulillah. And for those of you that don't know what Alhamdulillah means, it means all praise is to Allah. So then when it comes to the face off, for some strange reason Conor McGregor is triggered and Khabib puts his arm forward just in case Conor tries some funny business. Conor triggered whacks Khabib's arm and then Khabib obviously says come on then mate you think you're hard enough come on then I'll give it yeah and then Conor McGregor does a fail when he attempts to kick Khabib Hello darkness my old friend When Conor McGregor came out he came out with Drake yeah who was draped with the Ireland flag. I don't even know the reasoning behind that. Whatever Connor had to do to make that happen, it's probably gone over Khabib's head because he's got no clue who Drake probably is. Then it's time for his interview. Now we all know Khabib is not much of a talker because obviously English is not his main language. But he gives one deadly blow to Conor McGregor. Tomorrow night I'm gonna smash your boy guys. Tomorrow night. I will smash your boy. Like he's some sort of Russian hulk mate. Now our hero is getting booed by the Irish fans. What's he gonna do? Anybody else on that stage would lose control, they'd get a few wicked headlines, they'd get more sponsors, more media coverage and that's where the money comes in. But Khabib's doing none of that. Connor's got proper 12, his whiskey brand is promoting it. Khabib is only promoting one brand and that is Islam. <laughs> and he's gaining nothing material from it. So as he's getting booed, all he does is thank the people, show his appreciation and just says what inshallah he's gonna get done tomorrow. Tomorrow night I'm gonna smash your boy guys. Now I know a lot of people haven't promoted the fight, why? Because they genuinely think Khabib's gonna lose. In my eyes guys, Khabib has already won. Why? Because he has shown compassion, he's shown mercy and he has shown loyalty to this religion. On a global stage, where many people would falter, where many people would sell their religion for meager worldly gain, Khabib has stayed true to himself, true to his roots and most importantly true to Islam. And he is showing it to the world as it is drowning in depression, in sadness and in sorrow. He is showing Islam as the solution and not only is he just doing it through talking, he is doing it through action. Because today a lot of people are talking, they're talking the talk but how many are actually walking the walk? So it is truly a breath of fresh air to see Khabib practically showing people how Khabib. Islam has changed him as a person, how Islam has affected him as a person and shown Islam at work. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and grant him success in this world and in the hereafter. But let me tell you one thing, after seeing him wrestle a bear when he was young, my Allah, I am truly looking forward to that fight. And until next time guys, I'm gonna smash your boy.